Okay, this question, question nine, define magnetic flux. All right, flux is BA, not linkage, uh, just flux. So two marks, and we're going to call this as uh, flux is BA, but B and A has to be normal. So these are the two points. No? So I would say flux is the product of magnetic flux density B and cross-sectional area A of a closed loop or a closed conducting loop, no? conductor. Okay. Where B is perpendicular or normal or at right angles to A. Notice that I define what B and A is before I start using the symbol. That way I can prevent myself from losing the mark. Like the examiner is like, what is B, what is A? I don't know. Leh. So don't let them take that mark away from you. At least you define it one time. Or just write, keep writing the full name. Magnetic flux density is normal to the cross-sectional area. Okay, a simple transformer consists of two coils of wires wound around a soft iron core, as usual. Okay, there's sinusoidal current in the primary coil. Explain. How this current give rise to EMF in the secondary coil? Okay, so current in primary coil change. The whole chapter 23, induced EMF, is about changes. So when this current changes, it's because it is alternating current. When this current in the primary coil changes, the flux in the primary coil also change. If the flux in the primary coil change, the flux in the secondary coil, ESA, also change. Why? Because they are linked. And why are they linked? Through the soft iron core. No? Even if there's no soft iron core, there's some linking. No? Just maybe not that strong. Okay? And if there is a flux change in the secondary coil, according to our friend... Faraday. I know a friend, his name is Faraday. There is an induced EMF in secondary coil. This one is by Faraday. So the whole idea is to write out all of this in three marks. So I generally find helpful if I just map out what I want to write especially if I have to write an explanation so that I don't miss out points. La. Because it's very hard egg. La. It's not like I don't know the point. I know I just didn't write. Then you then you just, oh yeah, what like that? <laughs> so I will just map out everything. Okay, now I write. So I'll start with the AC inside the primary coin. So I will say alternating current creates a changing magnetic flux in the primary coil. Period. Next point. This, so I basically talk about, I talk about this, I talk about this. Okay. Second point. Now I'll say that since, since, the primary coil is linked to secondary coil via the soft iron core. There is also a changing magnetic flux 
in the secondary what okay so i'm here already and then if you want to name drop faraday we name drop faraday according to faraday's law this change in flux induces an emf in secondary coil okay that's all so i think like this in my brain i translate like this into max conversion i trade my brain with max <laughs> okay where are the max alternating current create changing magnetic flux in primary coil very important to mention which coil we are talking about don't just oh, tuan, tuan. change here change there and never specify the coil okay so this is one mark primary coil is linked to secondary coil there is also a changing magnetic flux in the secondary coil one mark keywords here are link the two coils are link and then this means that there is a changing flux in secondary coil Okay, the third mark is you go and name drop Faraday. No? You don't name drop Faraday also, never mind. You just say this change in flux induces an EMF. The word induce is compulsory. Okay, in the secondary coil. This is the last mark. Okay, question here. Is it the same thing if I say there is a change in flux in the iron core? So there is a change in flux in the secondary core. Can so you could add another point and you could say uh, primary coil has a change in flux. Secondary the so basically you add this add another step here lah. There's a change in flux in soft iron core. So primary coil is linked to soft iron core. There's a change in flux in soft iron core. Secondary coil is linked to soft iron core. There's a change in flux in secondary coil. So you could add this point here. But this is uh, covered in the idea of link. Normally, I see the marks one and I count the lines. <laughs> if I can fit it in, I write. La. If it's three marks, I'm like, ah, yeah, no need. La. <laughs> okay, so I'm very transactional in this case. Okay, part two. Why is this EMF induced? Yeah, this EMF, uh, uh, the EMF that we were storing just now, not constant. Uh, yeah. the feed, the flux change not constant because alternating current not constant. No? Okay, because what was Faraday's law again? Faraday's law says that uh, induced EMF is proportional to. Why am I, what, what's going on? Induced EMF is proportional to negative the flux dt. Okay, so if you want this EMF to be constant, then your deflux dt is constant. And your deflux dt is not constant. Miss, why is deflux dt not constant? Uh? Um, well, I can I start from the beginning. AC look like this. Current. Okay, we know magnetic field is proportional to current. Think about the first video in your chapter 22. Larger current, larger induced magnetic, but larger magnetic field or magnetic flux density. So magnetic flux density is proportional to current. So magnetic like that. And flux is equal to BA. So if I draw a graph of flux against time, it's going to look like this. Does the rate look constant to you? Is this even a straight line? No. Ah. Okay. So this one, this graph has no constant or not constant deflux dt. That'll be the first point. I will say that the rate of change of magnetic flux Ain't constant, bro. It's not constant. Since induced EMF 
is proportional or directly proportional to rate of change of magnetic flux induce EMF also not constant. Max, rate of change of magnetic flux not constant, one. Second mark, induced EMF is proportional to rate of change of magnetic flux. Leading to the conclusion, you don't write the conclusion also, never mind, but I think it's better to write la, for your own brain. Induced EMF is also not constant. So E is equal to or proportional to this one. So if this is not constant, this one also not constant. That's basically what we're saying. And to help your brain accept that this flux is not constant, the magnetic field is not constant. You know, magnetic field not constant because people alternating current. So the rate is not constant. This gradient is not constant. It's not always uh, it's, no, it's this gradient where got constant. <laughs> Sinusoidal shape where got constant gradient. Okay, so that's part two. I think there's a nine C here. I scroll up. C. Explain why the soft iron core is laminated. Ah, must immediately think of your good friend Eddie. Okay. So I will say here, because of Eddie current, ah, so these two marks. So I will say this one soft iron core when it's laminated, it reduces the induced eddy currents in the soft iron core. Hence, less heat loss in core. More efficient transformer. Okay, so pretty good questions actually because it's, it's one like you know, you know, then it's just writing out the explanation. But if you never study and you keep avoiding past year questions that have a lot of lines, one then you get this paper, then you very really sad like that. Because <laughs> the whole paper I'm scrolling through right now, I look at it so many lines, people. Calculation is like less than it's like less than. 60%, which is fairly anomalous for physics, to be honest. Like many explanation, little calculation, mm. about half is explanation, fairly anomalous. So f make sure that you know and you go through the important explanations, uh, especially just go and look at your notes now. They'll be there. All right, so that's it for the transformer question nine from winter 21.